Hey everybody, it's Jen. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I have some projects that I made with dies from In Love Art Shop. They contacted me on, um, well, they sent me an email and asked me if I'd like to review some of their products. So I know a lot of you guys use their dies. I never um, ordered from them before, but I've heard good things. So I said, sure, I would love to. So um, yeah, so they sent me five different dies that I uh, got to choose and I made some projects with them that I want to share with you. They also sent me a 20% off code for my subscribers and I'll leave it down below, but the code is S30283. And just use that, you get 20% off on their website, which is inloveartshop.com. Also, they have worldwide free shipping over $25, so I think that's pretty good. So yeah, let's get started. I got some great dies in and they I think they really made some cute projects. So let's start with this one. This is called the Snowflake Corner Die. And I just thought this would be perfect for cards and albums and things like that for Christmas time, for winter, you know, for all season long. So uh, that was my first choice. And let me show you a card that I made using that. For all these projects, projects I used the Sugar Plums paper pad from Michaels. Um, and I used two of the die cuts. I put one here and then I put one over here. I cut off a little bit of it to, just to fit on that side. But um, I think it came out so cute. I used, well, I like I said, I used the Sugar Plums collection for this paper and the one behind it. But for the snowflakes, I used a white pearlized paper. And I'm not sure if you could see, but it is pearlized. And for the snowflake centers, I just used some stickles and different colors just to add a little bit of color to them. But this die, I was worried that it would be hard to cut out, but it really wasn't. Um, you know, there's a little weeding to a die this intricate, but no big deal. I think um, using wax paper really helps when you're cutting out intricate dies on your cutting machine. But anyway, I thought this was so cute and I can't wait to use this die in lots of other projects as well. Um, I actually used it in another card that I made. So um, this is the first one that I made. Hope you like it. The next one I made, I used the snowflake die again, but I also used a few other ones. This is a, obviously a birthday card, but this is for winter birthdays. And I use the snowflake dies here and I use some glitter paper for that, if you can see. And this one I popped up on a little bit of pop dots. Um, just put them under like the more solid snowflakes. And I like how it adds a little bit of dimension to the project. And then for this one, I just took one of the big snowflakes and cut it off of the, you know, of the grouping and then layered it with the smaller one. So you can be creative with this die and cut apart the snowflakes, cut a few apart, or just use the whole thing together. And then I used a few other of the new dies for the rest of the projects. Um, for the bow, I used this die. And this, I love bow dies. And this one I like because it's kind of flat, but you can, you know, layer it and make it a little bit bigger if you'd like. So that's what I did with this one. I cut it out of uh, vellum. As you can see, it's textured vellum. And then I used some faux leather in the back. And even though it's a thin lit die, it cut out faux leather perfectly. So I just... Like I said, I cut it out twice and layered it. And then I put a snowflake bread that I had in my stash through the middle of it just to hold it all together. So it came out so cute, I think. I really like this bow. It's pretty and feminine and moves around a little bit, but also cut out really well. Very impressed. Um, for the sentiment, I love this font of happy birthday. This is also from In Love Art Shop. And it's one big piece. Like you could see the, um, the H and the B and the Y and the D are connected. You could cut them apart easily if you wanted to. No big deal. But I do like that they're connected because, you know, sometimes you really don't want to have to deal with figuring out spacing and it's already done for you. This one also cut out really well. Let me show you those dies. 
This came in a set of five, and this is called um, the Greeting and Encouragement Words Dies. So this is the one that I used, Happy Birthday. Again, cut out beautifully. And it also came with a few different ones. It came with Hello with a border around it and some stars. It also came with this one that says Dream Big. This was really cute. I haven't tried this one out yet, but I'll get to it. This one says Sweetheart. Really pretty. This will be great for Valentine's Day or, you know, anytime you just, I mean, I call people Sweetheart all year long. So, And then there's this one that says Good Times, and it's kind of like, like a New York Times style font, which I thought was kind of cute. I also have not used this one yet, but I sure will eventually. Um, the one that says hello, I did use. So let me show you what I made with that one. Let me just move over my birthday card. Move them so you could see them. I showed them on Instagram. You might have seen them there, but it's always fun to show them on a video too. Okay, this is the card I used with the hello die. I made it a shaker. Um, as you can see, this is also with the Sugar Plums paper in the background. I just love that collection. And for the Hello, I used a gold glitter cardstock that I had in my stash. It also cut out really well, which is great for, uh, you know, I'm always worried about cutting out glitter cardstock, but it worked out fine, so... And I just made a shaker's mix out of like the different colors that are found in the paper. And I stitched on some acetate to make the shaker, which is a super easy and quick way to make a shaker, I think, when you don't want to have to deal with foam and different cutouts and that sort of thing. Um, you have to use thin shaker bits, but that's fine. And I think it came out super cute. I didn't add anything inside yet, but... Um, I did just want to show you those dies that I used. And for the last project, oh, wait, let me, I forgot to show you. On the happy birthday card, if you could see in the background, there's a vellum doily. Can you see that? Isn't that pretty? And I put that there just to kind of, you know, accentuate the happy birthday sentiment. So to make that doily, I used this die set. And this is called the... Uh, nesting lace circle dies and there are three different ones I didn't take these two apart but I used the bigger one to make the vellum doily and of course you can use these to layer up on a project you can use the different sizes individually like I did here um, this I use for more of a background but you can make it you know use a bolder paper and make it more of the foreground as well so I just love versatile dies like this, don't you? It just, you know, makes your life easier when you're trying to make a project. Okay, so for my last project, I used this set of dies. And again, I showed this on Instagram. This is a frame die set. And this is called Stackable Oval Dot Frames. And it comes with three different frames. And um, it does not cut out the... Um, well, it cuts out the middle part is what I'm trying to say. It doesn't make like one big solid oval. And that's why it's called a frame die. So I made a few gift tags, which let me show you the first one. This I used the biggest um, oval. And I used a pearlescent paper in blue for the frame. And then I just fussy cut. Well, not really fussy cut. What I did to make the background... I put the die over the paper and then traced around it just with a pencil and then cut it out. That way you could just glue the um, the frame right on top of it. So, and this, yeah, this was just a, a image that had cookies on it. And I added some glossy accents just to give it some dimension. And then I added some stickles on the background as well, just in like a white snow kind of um, color. I put a bread in there, not a bread, um, an eyelet, a star eyelet, and some ribbon, and I just put a couple stickers on the back to and from. Um, I was going to, um, you could probably see through it, I tried to stamp out to and from, but it didn't look good, so I just put a sticker on top. <laughs> so that's the first one, that's the largest one. 
And then for the medium size frame, I created this one. And I just love this one. I love the little bottle brush trees. I added some stickles. Um, again, it was easy to cut out. You do have to, you know, weed out some of the circles, but no big deal. Just use one of those, you know, weeding brushes and it comes out fine. Used another star eyelet and just a sticker on the back with, this was um, a cutout oval from, I think it was from this set. So just to add a little thickness to the back of it. Added some ribbon and there's a tag. You can even use these as ornaments too, you know, super cute. And then for the third one, the smallest one, I made this cute little village scene also from that same paper pad. I added some stickles, easy peasy, cute gift tag or ornament. And the back looks like this. I put a little tag there, as you can see. I tried to stamp before that, didn't come out good. I think what happened was I smeared it before I was uh, finished, so. And this one I made um, a little bit stiffer, which um, I got the hang of it after my third one. Uh, what I did was before I cut out the background piece, I glued it onto a thicker cardstock and then cut both those pieces together to make the background, which I do recommend just because this one is a little bit flimsy. Fine for a gift tag, but if you want to make it more permanent like an ornament, I would suggest um, making your background a little bit um, stiffer. So those are my projects. Thank you so much to the In Love Art Shop for sending me these for review. I really enjoyed these products. I will link them all down below. I will link my gift or um, discount code, which will give you 20% off. And let me know what you think. I hope you guys like these projects. Um, give me a thumbs up if you did. And I will be back soon with another crafty video. Thanks, guys. Bye.